Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with voice chat through Steam. Now this video is sponsored by Heathen, so thank you very much for that. And luckily, thanks to the Steamworks toolkit, it's very, very easy to implement voice chat into your game. Now, all that's really required for this is you have an active network connection and that you have Steam initialized. So I'm going to start from one of my previous videos, which is the quick matchmaking video. That I already made but you really just need this connection and steam initialized somehow now in order to just test this locally first I'm just gonna put the slot to one and I'm not gonna be testing this multiplayer I already did but the issue is my other computer doesn't really have a good setup to test this so you're just gonna have to trust me on this now this working and this already being my setup you can check and just press start and now I'll be in a lobby now in this lobby there's nothing special it's pretty much what was here before except I've just added this empty player spawner game object and I've added the fishnet player spawner now I'm using fishnet but you can use any any networking system that you'd like now with the player spawner we need something to represent our player now if you already have a player that's nice and easy but i don't so i'm just gonna make a player here and i'm just gonna give it the classic network object as it will need that and then there's two things that we need to add to it we need the voice recorder and with the voice stream these are essentially the two components so the voice recorder takes your voice through steam and packs it into a byte array that it can then send with some kind of interval so you can see the buffer length here is 0.25 meaning it will send four times a second the voice stream can take this byte array once it's been received and essentially unpack that and make it into the voice so we also need to feed it an audio source so by giving it an audio source here on the player like so feed it the audio source and there we go that's essentially all the setup that we need you can of course set up all the audio settings as you'd like but it's really as simple as that now for whatever's going on here keep in mind that steam and networking are two completely separate concepts steam does not network for you and fishnet does not touch steam it's up to us as the developers to essentially move this data right here that gets recorded from your local computer and move that to all the players that needs to hear it and then stream it back to them so now let's go set up a script for this exact case. I'm just going to call it voice data handler, for example. And I'm going to open up this script. Now, let me remove what's already here and let's make this script into a network behavior. Now with the network behavior, as you can see, it's set up as an event on the player. So here in the voice recorder, you can see event of voice streaming that's set up as an event, which will essentially call every time that it has buffered. Now, so that means that we need to be able to subscribe a method to that event. So let me just make public void and then call that send voice data. And as you can see, it already takes in a byte array and that we're gonna call data. Now, what we need to do is we need to be able to send this over a server RPC and we can just make this private void send voice data underscore server. And this will once again take in a byte array that we're gonna call data. And also another thing that we can do to make it a little bit lighter, because this is gonna be called continuously, is we can add a channel to it, which is in the fishnet.transporting namespace. We can make the channel and we can make the channel unreliable. Now reliable means that you're essentially confident that the data will be arrive in the right order. The issue is this is a little bit heavier. And since it's something that we're gonna be continuously sending, I'd rather have the data not be super heavy, but be unreliable. And unreliable means that the data is a little bit lighter, but essentially they can happen maybe either out of order or some not even arrive at all. This is quite rare, but it can happen. And now we want this to be sent out to everyone as well. So I'm gonna make an up service obviously, and I'm gonna do exclude owner to true because we don't wanna send the data back to ourselves. So I'll call this private void receive voice data. And this will once again take a byte that we're just gonna call data like so. So this is mostly it. Now we do need a reference for two things here. So I'm gonna serialize field and we need a reference for the voice recorder. I'm gonna call voice recorder and we need a serialized field for the private voice stream. And I'm gonna call voice stream like so. And so let's just hook these up really quickly. So I'm gonna set this one up here and I'm gonna send data through. I'm gonna set this one up here and I'm gonna send data through. And this essentially means now the data is moving from us locally to the server and out to everybody who needs to hear it. Of course, you could also send target RPC, so you could do whatever you'd like to essentially send it to only specific people. But for this case, I just want to send it to everybody. So that's why I'm doing it like this. Now the voice stream is going to be what's handling actually playing it. So we can do voice stream dot and then let's play voice data and we just feed it the data. And that's mostly it. Now on start client, we need to essentially check if we are the owner and if we are the owner, we want to start actually recording the voice. So this essentially means it's just going to be an open microphone, but the voice recorder essentially has the start and stop recording. So you can do start recording or you could do stop recording. And this is essentially where if you'd want, for example, push to talk or toggling to talk, you can start and stop like this, but I'm just going to have it run continuously. So I'm just going to do if is owner, we're going to constantly record our voice. And that's essentially it. Now we just need to hook up the send voice data to this. And that should really be about it. It's as easy as that. So we're gonna, on the event voice stream that outputs bytes, we're gonna have this. I'm gonna put the script on it. And we're essentially gonna feed it the script here. And that was the voice data handler. And we're gonna say send voice data. And then of course we gotta feed it 
the reference for both the voice recorder and for the voice stream. And that's really it. So now let's go make a prefab of the player here. I can now remove it from the scene and I can add it to the player spawner. And now let me go back to my starting scene just so you can see that my player spawns. So I'm gonna click play. It's gonna wait, it's gonna join the lobby. My player have now spawned. And as you can see, it's now recording data, which means it is now sending data out to everybody. And it's as easy as that, really. You can see the audio source is automatically set up to the voice, which comes from the stream. And yeah, now everything is really being handled for you. If you want less delay, you can put the buffer length down, but be aware if the buffer length time goes less than your tick delta, essentially the time between your ticks, you're gonna end up start losing voice. So I'd recommend keeping this quite high. 0.25 is pretty high. If you're running like 20 ticks or 30 ticks, you can probably easily do 0. 0.5 to 0. 0.1 but essentially yes this should be about it this should all work and it should all really handle the voice chat correctly and they should be able to hear each other now keep in mind the audio source settings of course matter so right now if players are further away from each other they won't be able to hear each other and things like that but obviously right now with this spawning setup you can see he's spawned in some random position so be wow when testing that it's probably a good idea maybe to ensure that they're all spawned in you know zero 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 in the world or something like that for testing purposes so you know adding a spawn point and so on but yeah, this should really be it. It's as easy as this. And then you have voice chat going in your game if you have the Heathens toolkit. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to go to the documentation link in the description as well. Feel free to join my Discord and join Heathen Discord as well if you have any questions. And other than that, I just hope that you have a wonderful day.